Hey there, welcome to the Animator YouTube channel. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to animate a work cycle in After Effects using Rubber Hose 2 plugin. So, let's start. So, in the previous lessons where I have discussed how to animate a work cycle, I have already told you these are the key poses that we have to consider while animating a work cycle. But if you are working in some kind of an interpolation software like After Effects, you don't have to consider all of these key poses. Rather, you need to make your contact poses and your passing poses perfect and rest of the thing might happen accordingly with the help of interpolation. So first of all, this uh, the here I have foot layer and the hand layer, this is the head and the, this is the body layer. I'm going to animate these layers first, then I'm going to add arm with this hand and legs or thighs and rest of the leg with this foot layer okay so first of all let's just decrease the work area first of all a normal work cycle takes around one second so we only need one second of this work area so first of all i will jump on to one second or rather i will jump on to plus 24 it will jump to the next 24th frame because I am in 24 frames per second and I will just make this work area of around 1 second. Okay, first of all, I am going to animate the foot. Select the foot layer. This will be the first contact pose. I will open the position property. I will jump on to next 12th frame. This will be the next contact pose. Then I will jump on to again next 12th frame. I will just simply copy this and paste it over here. This will be, this will complete the whole cycle. So in between of the contact poses are the passing poses. I have, as I have already discussed. So I will jump on to the 6th frame. I will move it up like what happens in the passing pose. And this motion path should be curved. If it is not curved, you can do this with the help of these Bezier handles. Okay, and we, we need to rotate it a bit because of the follow through that will be happening with the foot. So I will open the rotation property. Then I will put a keyframe over here and then I will again put a keyframe over here and I will rotate it. Let's rotate it to 35 and I will move it up beyond further to some extent like this okay and here the foot will be dragged on the ground but here will be another passing pose in the sixth frame which will be done with the uh, i mean one will be high one foot will be high up the ground which will not be this one the, that will be the other side of the foot but we will basically copy these whole layers and we will just add some offset to it and we will get the other foot so right now I will select this keyframe and is out. Select this. Okay, first of all I will add a rotation over here and I will add is in over here. Then I will select this and add robin keyframes for that. If it is linear keyframe, control press uh, press and hold control and click on it. The keyframes will be turned to circular icons like this. This basically means the speed will not vary in between these keyframes. It will neither slow down, neither speed up and neither it will be a mechanical kind of movement. It will basically in and out with same speed or same velocity because that kind of movement we need in this particular arc. We don't need any mecha mechanical or neither ease in or ease out movement. So. And one more thing, we have to ease, easy, easy. So right click and easy, easy it. And shortcut key is F9. You can also do it like this or rather you can use the shortcut key as well. Okay, one more thing we can add is we can add a bit more follow through to it. For that, I will add a counter rotation of 20 degrees. And then I will move this neutral to one frame. Now let's check it. Yeah. It's looking perfect. Okay, now it's time for the body. So for the body, I will... Now for the body, it's basically, it will just move up and down in a to and fro motion while it is in walk, uh, while it is walking in a cycle. So I will turn on the position property, jump onto next 
six twelve. Of course, it will just uh, come up and down with passing pose. So on the six twelve, it will go up, and after the passing pose, it will again continue going down and down. So like this, I will animate the body and the head, and again. In this here will be another passing pose, so we have to add another keyframe over here. Okay, now I will move it up towards. Now again, it will be neutral pose. Here we have to copy this and this. All right, we are done. Basically, we have to easy easy it. I have used the shortcut key F9. Now it's perfectly looking like it's actually working. We haven't yet added any arm or leg to it, but still, it's giving an illusion of a walk. So now it's time for the hand. Now the hand will move like this in an arc motion. It will not move like in a straight line. So we have to keep in mind about that. So first of all, we will move the hand over here. Okay, I will add position and rotation keyframe. I will rotate. it like this and after that i will jump on over here in the next contact pose i will move it over here and copy the rotation keyframe and simply as just remove the minus it will basically rotate in the opposite direction okay now same goes with another or the last contact pose i will simply copy and paste it and after that we have to add the arc as we have discussed about same with this one or else you can also copy and paste this keyframe over here but there some uh, sometimes if you copy and paste keyframes in after effects there then some kind of movement like this happens basically the bezier handles Uh, I mean, uh, are counter rotated like this, so you have to fix it. For that, I have just added keyframes manually. Okay, now again, same process. Easy is the whole thing. Okay, so it's looking perfect right now. Now it's time for adding the hands and arms. But before that. I want to add some squash and stretch with hand, body and the head. We have already discussed about squash and stretch. What is squash and stretch? It is one of the twelve principles of animation. And applying was while applying squash and stretch, you have to keep in mind that the all total volume of that particular body or the object should remain constant. So we have to keep in mind. But in After Effects, it's very easy to. Make the volume of the body or the to make the area of the body constant because we can simply do some mathematics over here. I mean, just add or subtract the values, you can get exact value of the squash and stretch. So first of all, I will add on the body. So I will open the scale. I will first of all add keyframes. Now, when it is in the contact pose, it will squash, and then when it is in passing pose, it will go to its normal or neutral pose, and then again squash, then again stretch, then again squash. Now, I will just break the link of x and y axis. I will subtract around, let's say, three percent from y axis and add it on x axis. So, as you can see, animating squash and stretch in After Effects is very simple. And same with this. I have to copy and paste. Same with this. I have to copy and paste. Now it's just we have to easy is the whole thing. Same with the head layer. Open the scale property and add the values. Okay, so now it's looking perfect. Now we have to offset the whole thing first. Then we can add arms and legs to it. So first of all, we have to add few expressions so that it loops throughout the keyframes, and uh, I mean it so that it loops forever with the keyframes. To add expression, you have to press Alt and click on the stopwatch icon, and you can add expression over here. So we have to add expressions uh, for looping, which is loop out plus loop in minus the value plus 
okay so this is the expression we have to add in all of it now we will just offset first of all from the from from zero only foot will move then we will offset the hands no hands and foot will be in same position but we have to offset body and head because first the foot will move then the body will start moving because it will dra drag the body and then the ha head will move start moving so i will offset it by two frames same with the head so as you can see so it's already looking better but the only thing that is left is we have to add holes from our rubber hose plugin first of all i will name the hose hand layer and add it over here and after that i will select it and just bend direction should be in the opposite side so i will add minus to it and it will change and after that i will change the color of this stroke so for that we have to select this hose which is named as hand we have named it over here so we have to select it and we can pick or if and we can just change it from here i will pick this color so i will increase the stroke to 70 or 80 and after that this is the start and this is the end i will put it over here after that i will decrease the length to around let's say 550 let's decrease it to 500 and i will the bend radius should i should decrease it to around and i think we have to add few more rotation to it so i will first of all delete the expression from here i will add more rotation to it i will select this and simply parent it with the hand layer so as you can see one more thing we have to parent it with the body layer as well yeah it's the shoulder is moving with the body now i think it would look better if i if the shoulder moves with the walk with the motion so for that i will also move the shoulder as well Okay, now it's time for the leg layer. and after that we can just duplicate these hoses but to duplicate a hose in rubber hose if you are using rubber hose then you have to select the layers you just don't copy paste that don't work over here you have to come over here manage and duplicate it like this click on it it will be duplicated the hoses and after that i will put it behind the body and behind the legs as well and i will just duplicate this simply copy and paste the hand layer i will select it and parent it with this one open the position property with keyframe the shortcut shortcut key is u and after that i will just offset it to 12 frames and here it's done as you can see and the same process will be followed with the leg as well all right so with this our walk cycle animation is complete we did it with all geometric shapes but you can add few detailing if you want to so if you like the video then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the video then 
make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye